Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to talk about the Vise. Now the Vise is what they call it here, a flexible authentication solution for Rails. So basically signing up a user, logging in a user, the email confirmation and retrieving a forgotten password, all that can be handled with just one this one gem. So here are the getting started guide and really it's the thing you should follow. So the first thing you do obviously is you do a Rails generate device install and you're gonna give it some time to run so depending on your internet connection it could be way much faster than mine and you can see that it created two files it created an initializer file and a device.yaml file which we'll talk about on a later day but you could see that they already gave you some setup instructions about five steps that you could take to get this up and running really quickly so if you want to skip this video and watch it and do it yourself then please feel free to do so but don't forget to give me a thumbs up um, the next thing you'd want to do is you want to do this rails generate device model so that's what we're going to do and remember that our model that we're going to use to represent our users is actually not called users I made it a little bit hard and it's actually going to be org person or as you would like to call it org people so we'll just go over here and we will do rails generate device org person so that's our model so that's what we're going to do rails generate device org person and what it will do is it will generate some migration files and the models or org person and it will insert a route for you too. So let's just go in there and take a look at what actually changed. So let's go to our model. Let's look at our org person. Keep that open. Let's take a look at our routes as well. And we also added a migration file to the end of this, which is at device. So what they added to our to our model first is they just added this one line, which pretty much sets up the authentication, the registering, which is registerable, the recovering your your forgotten email recoverable, and a lot of other different options that device really allow you to do. But first things first, we're going to take confirmable because we want the users to be able to confirm their their account, and we're just going to put that under their on their device so to so that so as to enable that option. And let's take a look at our routes. So what changed in our routes is they they now have a device for or person, and that's all that's all dandy and great. But what we want to do is we want to change that to something like this. And I'll explain this more in a in a later in a later video. And let's just look at our migration file. And you can see that the migration file, nothing is really new about it. I mean, we could use the defaults, but what I usually do is I would just comment this raise active record of reversible migration because what that actually does is it makes it so that we cannot do any rollback. So that's why I would comment that out. And we will need our confirmable token because now we're going to add in confirmations. And we're also going to need to uh, uncomment these four options for unconfirmable. And other than that, everything looks pretty great and dandy. So we'll just leave it at that. We'll save that file. And what we'll do next is we will do a rake db migrate. So what we will do is we do rake db migrate. Let's hope this migration goes through well. And we have migrated our file. So in this video, that's all I really wanted to go through today. What we did to give you a little bit of recap is we just ran two options. We just ran real generate device install to install device, and we generated the model, which gave us three files. The it really edited our org person model that we had before before installing device and edited our routes. And well, what is what we did is we changed our routes to these, these two added added these extra options on there or extra commands, and we changed our our migration file such that we commented out the rollback problem, and we uncommented 
with uh, confirmable options. So that's all I want to go through today. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And there, yeah, there's one last thing. If you have any sorts of questions or idea, leave them in the comments below. Or you could actually email us at coursehack at gmail.com, which is the email that we're using right now. Uh, there, are, there have been some people that have pitched me some ideas, which are some really good ideas, and I really love hearing new ideas. Um, you can always, I would always love to work on new problems with some new people. So always down to talk more about ideas and, and projects. So if you have something in mind, then don't hesitate to hit me up on that. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.